the race for the Republican presidential candidate spot has come down to two. Our LV Hissom talked with a political professor from Marietta College to learn more about the race. I mean, South Carolina is do or die for, for, Nick, uh, for Nikki Haley. Former President Donald Trump has two big wins in the Republican primary season, winning the Iowa caucus and the New Hampshire primary. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is the only remaining challenger for the GOP nomination. Marietta College assistant political science professor Dr. Mitchell Crum says there may be a path forward for Haley. You know, the one, on paper at least, the advantage that she has is this is her home state. Um, she was governor uh, of South Carolina in the relatively recent um, uh, past here and so in theory you would think that she would have a chance but again the polling indicates that she doesn't. Dr. Crum says that Haley's chances are fairly slim. He says polling shows a large chance that former President Donald Trump will end up with the Republican nomination. You can even see it in national polling just that she doesn't have the support to um, have a realistic chance of winning the winning the Republican um, nomination and so that means it's it it is pretty much inevitable at this point that it's going to be Trump. On the other side of the aisle Dr. Crum said there is still time for Democrats to prove their poll in this race as well. While the Republicans have had their first caucus and first primary uh, the Democrats have only just started um, since they're shuffling their shuffling their calendar um, they didn't uh, Iowa doesn't vote for the Democrats for um, several more weeks. Dr. Crum says that at this point the Biden campaign is preparing as if they are already in the general election. So just thinking about like the Biden campaign um, you know Joe Biden has just dispatched uh, a couple of his top aides to become. Uh, you know, to go back essentially to his campaign. And the reason for that is, you know, the Biden campaign essentially also sees this as, as over, right? They are pivoting themselves into, um, you know, campaign mode to, to fully treat this as, you know, we're essentially in the general election now. Dr. Crum says that even though the Democrats are just getting started on their caucuses and primaries, that the support shown for President Joe Biden, who won the New Hampshire primary without being on the ballot due to write-in votes, proves hopeful for his campaign. Um, he actually wasn't on the ballot. Um, and so the fact that he actually won decisively, uh, the primary shows that there actually is a, a fair amount of support for him as um, you know, as the candidate in the Democratic Party. Yeah, Again, even when Biden's not on the ballot, he's, you know, he's won the primary. In Marietta, L.V. Hissom for WTAP News.